To understand Earth's radiation balance, let's begin by considering incoming solar radiation. The average solar radiant energy striking the top of the atmosphere is 342 watts per meter squared. For simplicity, we will set this value at 100% and show all gains and losses of energy as a percentage of this incoming solar radiation. Of the incoming solar radiation, 23% is reflected by clouds, aerosols, and atmospheric gases, while 8% is reflected by the surface. The reflected solar radiation makes Earth visible from space. The rest of the solar radiation is absorbed by gases in the atmosphere and absorbed by the surface of Earth. When an object absorbs electromagnetic radiation, it heats up and in turn re-emits electromagnetic radiation, but in much longer, less energetic infrared wavelengths. In this way, a relatively large amount of energy is emitted by Earth's surface, 114% of that which reaches the top of the atmosphere. We shall see shortly how this value can be greater than 100%. Some of the emitted infrared radiation is transmitted straight through the atmosphere and lost to space. However, the rest is absorbed by gases in the atmosphere. These molecules are warm and then re-radiate photons, many of them back to Earth's surface and to clouds where they are again absorbed. This continual process of reabsorption and re-radiation keeps energy within the Earth's system, heating both Earth's surface and the lower atmosphere. Radiant exchange between the surface and the atmosphere explains why the cumulative infrared radiation emitted by the surface exceeds that initially absorbed from the Sun, and why Earth's surface averages about 34 degrees Celsius warmer than it would be if there were no atmosphere at all. Ultimately, however, the radiant energy emitted into space does precisely balance the amount of incoming solar radiation that is absorbed. The 69% figure for radiation lost to space equals the 49% plus 20% absorbed by Earth's surface and atmosphere. The warming of Earth's surface that results from the retention of energy by the atmosphere is called the greenhouse effect. Of all the different gases that make up the atmosphere, only certain greenhouse gases contribute to this effect. These are gases with molecular structures that cause them to strongly absorb radiation in the infrared wavelengths. The greenhouse gases include carbon dioxide, methane, water vapor, and nitrous oxide. The greenhouse effect is a natural effect, but also one that human activities are influencing. By burning fossil fuels and through other activities, humans are increasing the atmospheric concentrations of greenhouse gases, especially carbon dioxide and methane. This is increasing the radiant exchange between Earth's surface and lower atmosphere, which raises the temperature of Earth's surface and the lower atmosphere, and increases the average altitude from which re-emitted photons escape into space. The greenhouse effect influences any planet with an atmosphere. Its magnitude depends on the amount and type of material in the atmosphere. With its atmosphere, Earth's average surface temperature is about 34 degrees warmer than it would otherwise be. Mars's thin atmosphere warms its surface by only 3 degrees Celsius, whereas the thick atmosphere of Venus warms that planet's surface by a whopping 468 degrees Celsius.